Oops, I spilled some water. Quick, get something to dry the table. Here, use this towel to absorb the water. <sighs> Luckily, the book didn't get wet. Absorb, 吸收 Cloth, 布 Coin, 硬币 Pebble, 卵石 Tissue paper, 纸巾 There is water on the floor. Let's place a dry cloth over the water. Look, the cloth is wet. Water has gotten into the cloth. The cloth has absorbed water. Let's now try using some coins to absorb water. Look, the coins do not absorb the water. Now let's use pebbles to absorb the water. Pebbles do not absorb water either. How about using tissue paper to absorb water? Look, the tissue paper becomes wet, and there is no water left on the floor. Tissue paper absorbs water. We now know that some materials absorb water and some don't. Boys and girls, these materials absorb water. Let's see which material absorbs more water. The three glasses have the same amount of water. Let's see what happens when we dip them into the water. The amount of water left in the glasses is not the same. The sponge absorbed the most water. The paper absorbed less water than the cloth and the sponge. This shows that some materials absorb more water than others. Hi, children. How do we use materials that absorb water? Let's look at the uses of these materials. We use a sponge to wash dishes, a napkin keeps the baby dry. We use a mop to clean the floor. We use a towel to dry ourselves after a bath. Can you think of other things we can do with materials that absorb water? Hi, boys and girls. Let's find the materials that absorb water. Do you know which materials do not absorb water? Hi, children. Can you tell me which object absorbs more water? Let's match pictures of materials that absorb water with their usage. <laughs>